afternoon cactus people I do hope the rain's not going to make too much noise on the roof today like it did yesterday um, reason for today's video is uh, I was watching one of Daz's videos last night from Cactomania and he just bought a lovely Apuntia by the name of um, Apuntia Molesta uh, which looked very familiar and I think I mentioned to him underneath in the co his comments I've got one that uh, looks very similar and I've had this one which is over here I've had this for a couple of years now and it's gone on under the name of um, Apuntia Teres which was a bit confusing because when I looked that up um, that was an old name that um, dated back to 1944 and it said Ostro Vestita uh, underneath it which as many of you know is this one the um, the cactus that moves around a lot and uh, Vestita means clothed um, because of the wool on the, uh, the plants which protects it from UV light uh, so it um, quite obviously wasn't one of those uh, but I didn't propagate it from it because I wasn't sure about the ID and I've just left the label on it um, until I could sort of get a better idea but watching Daz's video I think he might have hit the nail on the head, so I'm going to try and take um, one of these uh, cladodes off, which might be easier said than done. I might have to do this off camera. Yeah, I'll need to twist that. Uh, I want to compare it with um, the one that Daz put up last night. Um, it's definitely not one of the usual suspects, which um, these we've got um, Cylindropuntia tunicata, Salmiana. Hystrix and Whippleye there, which are very similar plants as you can see. Uh, I'll put stills of these up afterwards so you can have a closer look. Uh, but that was just something about the one that Dad's put up last night. I thought it might have been that. So um, what I'll do after I've um, finished this video, uh, I'll ask Dad if it's okay to put a still up um, from his video. Uh, so I'll edit that onto the end of this one if that's okay. And hopefully we can take the ID f idea from there. It'll be uh, the ID from there. It'll be uh, lovely to know that uh, I finally got a proper ID for the plant. Okay, so if you're seeing this, then I've had a reply from the email I sent to Daz asking for permission to use his video, and uh, I've taken a cutting which you can see it's a very very similar plant but for the fact um, the spines in Daz's one are about the length of the, the actual body in there and these ones are just about half the uh, length of that so although I thought I had a match it's not quite um, good enough but it's definitely given me something to go off uh, so it's got to be very closely related to this not quite the cactus I thought it was going to be, but uh, definitely better than the uh, erroneous label that was on it before, which I say probably was translated from a, an older plant, and over time it's got swapped over to this one. Uh, but it's definitely not an Ostro Cylindropuntia Vestita, so at least we know that much. Anyway, thank you Daz for letting me use um, a still from his video. And thank you everyone else for watching. I'm Ziggy Searchfield and we're in a shed in the Garden of England. Mm -hmm.